Hello everyone, welcome to our discussion on animal distribution. As we all know, animals are not distributed uniformly throughout the world. Depending upon the climate, depending upon the environment, depending upon the availability of food, depending upon the type of food they eat, different types of animals are seen uh, in different places. Some are seen only in particular places, some are seen uh, universally, etc. So in this particular topic, we are going to discuss how uh, animals are being distributed uh, in the uh, how animals are distributed uh, uh, in the world. So to discuss uh, animal distribution or distribution of animals on Earth, uh, we are going to understand it under two heads, like uh, distribution of animals in space and distribution of animals in time. So firstly, we will see the distribution of animals in space, which is further divided into geographic distribution and bathymetric distribution. So from the uh, name itself, geographic distribution is also called as the horizontal or uh, surface yield uh, distribution, where uh, which deals with the uh, distribution of animals over the surface of Earth. Uh, in uh, that is in water on land in different uh, continents and different islands based on the distribution of vertebrates the earth crust is divided into six realms which we'll be discussing in the next uh, topic which is so geographical realms so uh, actually this deals with the uh, distribution of animals on the surface of earth the second one is uh, the bathymetric distribution, which is uh, the vertical distribution, which is further divided into halobiotic, limnobiotic, and geobiotic. So, coming to uh, 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 to each of the uh, bathymetric distribution, the first one is halobiotic, as the name suggests. It deals with uh, the distribution of animals in uh, oceans, in seas, and oceans. Uh, that's why uh, which is related to salt water which is uh, halobiotic uh, in that we have two categories pelagic as well as benthic uh, benthic uh, deals with the distribution of animals at the bottom or the uh, bottom of the ocean and pelagic uh, deals with uh, the uh, distribution of animals in the open sea uh, limnobiotic uh, deals with the distribution of animals in the fresh water where it is again divided into two uh, fresh water uh, as we see we can uh, see it in two forms either as running water which is lotic and the next one which is lenthic which is stationary uh, the last one in bathymetric distribution of uh, geobiotic uh, geobiotic which is also called as the continental distribution uh, which is the distribution that is seen in the uh, which can be divided into the desert forest cave etc so that is with the distribution in space uh, coming to distribution in time distribution of animals uh, in the past earth uh, earth's history or uh, otherwise called as the geological time scale is called as the distribution in time so we get uh, to know uh, when we study the geological time scale with the uh, different types of fossils which is obtained from the sediments we get to know at that particular time uh, what all animals were there in uh, in the earth so that is what is called as distribution of animals in time where we study the animals in the past uh, in the past of the earth's history and that is usual uh, usually done using uh, the fossil evidences uh, coming to the types of distribution uh, we have mainly four types of uh, distribution uh, cosmopolitan uh, discontinuous bipolar and isolated distribution cosmopolitan uh, as the word suggests it is nothing but continuous or universal distribution uh, it relates or this type of distribution is meant for those animals which are seen universally so there are many examples like rats, bats, hawks, cuckoos, etc., which uh, have a continuous distribution, or you can see it uh, uh, anywhere in the world. So uh, these animals, uh, they, uh, they, uh, when they are found in a kind of continuous or a cosmopolitan distribution, uh, these animals they will be having a wide range. 
uh, that means they have a great capacity or great adaptation to survive in different environments and also they have a wide range of food uh, or wide range of habit so that they can uh, thrive in any uh, different or uh, different environments in the in the earth uh, uh, so the uh, so this type of uh, uh, distribution uh, where you can see uh, the the animals like uh, snails etc uh, uh, come under this particular thing which is called as a cosmopolitan distribution next is discontinuous distribution so discontinuous distribution means from the name itself uh, this is a type of distribution where the animals are seen uh, not in a continuous manner but seen in uh, different locations in the earth's crust so different location in the sense that uh, they are seen uh, uh, at uh, not in a continuous manner they can be seen in one place uh, there's no continuity in the other they will be seen uh, in the other place uh, examples of discontinuous distribution are camels and elephants uh, camels and elephants they are seen in a discontinuous manner so there are many examples like lung fishes then teleost fishes then uh, the marsupial mammals like opossum which is confined to south america north america australia new zealand etc uh, and also the flightless birds like ostriches uh, they are found in uh, deserts of africa and arabia etc next is elephants is another example of uh, discontinuous distribution where they are found in africa and asia means india burma etc another uh, main example of discontinuous distribution is peripatus um, which is a connecting link between the annelids and arthropods uh, they are seen in different parts like america africa india malaysia new zealand etc so uh, the main thing with these organisms are that uh, they do not have a continuous or a universal distribution they will be seen in many pockets in the uh, in the earth uh, so the possible reasons for a discontinuous distribution is the change in climate, uh, the change in environment, uh, uh, barriers, etc. So uh, in a particular place, uh, when they have a favorable environment, uh, so uh, wherever those organisms are having a favorable environment, they will survive. And in the other places, they might have become extinct. Uh, that is what is called as extinction in certain regions because of the availability of food in that particular region or unavailability of food in that particular region or uh, the uh, the worst of their uh, environmental uh, factors might have lead to the extinction of that organisms in a particular region leading to discontinuous distribution uh, next can be submergence of land bridges so uh, previously uh, as we all know the uh, uh, the all the continents were uh, a single it is hypo it is hypothesized that it is it was found as a single mass and all these uh, continents they started to separate from one another and in some places there were land bridges and in the other places uh, the land bridges were lost and because of the submergence of many land bridges certain animals got confined to certain regions without because they uh, they could not cross that land bridges again as a result they were uh, limited to that particular region the other region they were absent so these are the main reasons for um, uh, what is called as uh, discontinuous distribution and their examples coming to bipolar distribution uh, uh, bipolar from the world itself uh, it uh, refers to the animals which are distributed in the poles some animals are found to inhibit only the arctic and antarctic waters with no representatives in the intermediate oceans and that is uh, the examples are ascidians uh, then salmons etc th those exhibit uh, uh, bipolar distribution So coming to the next one which is isolated distribution so isolated means uh, the, the organisms which are seen endemic to a particular region is called as isolated distribution so isolated the reason for isolated distribution is uh, only in that particular region in the world those organisms are having their favorable environment and their particular food uh, 
the availability of food might be confined only to that particular region and that might be the reason they are found only in that particular region or it might be uh, the particular type of environment where it can survive so the examples of uh, such endemic distribution are spinodon uh, then echidna or the platypus uh, echidna then spiny anteater uh, the opossum uh, also the uh, another uh, example which can be related to our state is uh, the lion tailed macaque which is endemic to our western ghats the region of kerala uh, the reason for that is that that particular macaque it each uh, it eat uh, the food of that particular macaque uh, a jackfruit that can be seen or that is available available only in this particular part of western ghats that's why they are restricted to this particular location so that such type of uh, distributions are usually referred to as uh, isolated distribution